Kerry McMahon with UKFightSite.com. I'm down here at 87 Fitness with Darren Chan and Steve Taylor of Undisputed UK. I've uh, got a lot of exciting things to talk about today, but just before we start, I just want to get your guys' backgrounds on um, martial arts and combat sports and how you started working together. Okay. Um, well, I started in a, a Kyokushin karate a long time ago, um, and from there it sort of led me into K1 and Thai. So I um, met a lot of, lot of people along the way, uh, a lot of experiences, travelling around the world. Um, I always wanted to create a gym or have a gym, being a personal trainer or fitness instructor around my own sort of career, I wanted to have a facility where I could train and also I could provide a facility that other people could train in as well. So kind of having my cake and eat, eat it. So I started a gym 15 odd years ago um, called The Fight Factory. A lot of people uh, that are in the industry have, have been through those doors or been through the doors and uh, and or have visited over the years. Um, it's kind of had a bit of a change over the years with, with my working sort of thing going on. So I, I started in the boxing, uh, sort of pro boxing world as well as a coach. So I, I downsized the gym and just had, a, had it on a bit of a back burner, uh, but always had it in the background. And then years later, I decided that I was gonna um, launch it again. Um, in that time, I. You know, taught a lot of students, taught a lot of people, karate and kickboxing, you know, Thai and, and K1 and stuff. And uh, and then Steve uh, came to the doors as a, as a student first. So he became a, a, became a student. He, he you know he, he did his thing as a as a K1 fighter, and then Kyokushin as well. So uh, he did really well with a, a couple of Kyokushin tournaments. And then as time's gone on, Steve sort of got got busy with his work and his studies and things, and it's, it's sort of gone full circle. He's come back. We've had this sort of idea about bringing sort of uh, fight shows um, into what we do, as well as launching uh, the new side of the gym in terms of classes and the size of the gym, because we've just taken on another, another part or another facility, which we're launching now in the next couple of weeks. And it's all sort of coming together. It's exciting because we've got a, you know, a fight brand, um, like I say, a new, a new size of the gym or a new part of the gym as well as new classes, so we've got a, a lot more classes to offer and, and people coming on board, so people like Dan Vinny, who's the current um, MTK uh, MMA World Champion, so he's coming on board as, a, as, a, as an instructor here for Jiu Jitsu and MMA. So there's a lot of things that are going on um, and a lot of things that are, that are taking off. So it's a, a busy time, yeah. so uh, yeah, it's uh, keeping us busy. Isn't it? Yeah, so with myself, again, like Darren started at <coughs> A young, a young age doing uh, karate, which is a different style to Darren's. Uh, also did jiu-jitsu as well, so I've been doing that for about 18 years for both of them. Uh, then I was about 16, came down here, uh, transitioned from karate to full contact karate, which is the Kyokushin and the K1. Fought for a few times um, and then went off for a couple of years, like you said. Came back, started doing some training, obviously always kept in touch as mates and then, like you said, it was just one idea and it's taken off from there really with the Undisputed. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> we got our first show, uh, Junior Fight Series on the 17th of November, uh, so we're working hard on that at the moment, but we've also got the gym to expand. Like I said, we've got the shop upstairs now, uh, so it's all great at the moment. Yeah. So the first show is actually <coughs> the, the part of the, it's the Junior Fight Series. Yeah, Junior Fight Series. Yeah, so we're going to be offering, um, you know, K1 rules, uh, Thai, uh, and, and and all ages as well. Uh, there's going to be boxing as well on it. Um, and what we want to do, we want to try and provide a, a fight show series um, throughout the year. There's offering the different disciplines uh, to all the clubs um, locally, or, or you know. Um, around the country to, to, to come on board and, and get involved. We want to take it as far as we can. We want to try and use different ideas with it. So, you know, we have the fight series doing sort of maybe uh, like a tournament maybe in the future. So you actually have a tournament kind of thing. A little, little bit like down the lines of Ringmaster, how they Ringmaster used to do, yeah. do stuff. So you maybe fight for a belt on a day, but you might have maybe four or five fights. That's something down the line that we can do. And then obviously if you have that champion or those champions, they then have to defend their belts. Um, and, it's, and it's giving kids opportunities uh, to, to get out there, showcase what they can do, you know, bring up you know, the new talent or, or showcase the talent that's coming through the gyms at the moment and, and give them the opportunities and get them out there because I know certainly growing up, um, 
you know, in the my sites and some of the stuff I did, I, I wish I'd thought more, I wish there was more going on. So the more they get to do, the more experience they get, uh, and the, the quicker we can bring kids through, and, and, you know, and, and, and provide good, good sort of fight shows that people want to fight on. Yeah, yeah, we just want to, we want something different, something that, yeah. <clears throat> obviously both being fighters ourselves, we can nail down what people want as fighters, um, but also we want to be the next big thing that everyone talks about, and putting multi-discipline shows together that other people just don't do. No. Um, so that's what we're, we're aiming for and working hard to, to move towards. So when, when you put these shows on, obviously you're going to have uh, MMA, Muay Thai, mm -hmm. kickboxing, K1 brawls, yep. boxing. Um, will you just base certain shows, this show's going to be about boxing, and then this one's going to have K1 rules, or will you mix it up through the night and you'll have a bit of everything on the night? Both really yeah, talk about. I think so. I think you know, there's, there's a lot of scope to do. You know, to see see things where, you know, where things are going. And I mean, you know, like Steve says, we've got experience of fighting on big shows. You know, I, I certainly fought on some some big shows out there. And you, as a fighter, you you think, well, I want to fight on this. I want to do this. I want to get that award. I want to win that belt. I want to, you know. So if we can provide something like that, but then yeah, certainly from a from a um, you know business point of view, if we can say, right, this show is going to be boxing. Mm -hmm. So then we just go down the line of boxing thing. You know, obviously running the gym as well, it can, for us, if it's a local show, we, it can be a catalyst to plug the gym, gym plug the show. Uh, then we'll do stuff like, okay, this is an MMA show, but then we'll do a hybrid where we do a, a you know, mixture of stuff. Um, so we want to be able to just really expand with the ideas and, and, and run with it and see where it takes us, really. But then look at other shows. Look at people that are doing really well. And, you know, you know they say that the best form of... Uh, Flatter is imitation. So you know, look at the other shows yeah. and take take. You know, rather there's too many people out there that are jealous of too many people and yeah. think, ah, I want. You know, ask these people. Go, how do you do this? Yeah. Um, work with us. We'll work with you. Yeah. And and try and help other people as well. You know, yes, we're a business. We want to want to try and make the business grow and the brand grow. But at the same time, if we can do that, working in harmony with everyone else, and you know, and and grow it that way so that it grows their shows and vice versa. We understand that we're a, a new show, so and I don't mean that disrespectfully by saying that can we help them grow, because a lot of these shows are established already and they're, they're booming. We just want a piece of that pie, a piece of that action, um, and if we can work in harmony with each other, whereby you know a certain gym might have three shows a year that are these dates. Okay, cool. Well, we'd like to provide these shows on different dates to your ones, um, and I, I know that there's so many things going on, so many dates out there, and we've experienced that. You know, you, you put a fight show on, and we've had Jim say, "We're at this show, we're at that show, we're at this show." So there's a lot going on out there. Yeah. But what we want to do, we want to set aside, set ourselves aside from everything, where people go, "Let's put the date in the diary for those shows," because mm -hmm. they really look after everyone. I'm not saying no one gets looked after on those shows, but we really go above and beyond. Yeah. Um, and we really sit and nail the the matching, so everything's done all above board and you know we really put ourselves out there we're trying to get sponsors on board so we you know we really grow it fast and it looks amazing and people want to fight on it and there's some shows out there like i've said that i certainly as a fighter wanted to fight on or did fight on and you know i know there's kids that are coming up and growing up thinking oh, i'd like to do this i'd like to do that and we'd like to provide that and i mean it's a great opportunity for the juniors coming up too so they can they can train under 87 fitness mm -hmm. You know, you've got all these options of the classes. You've got your MMA with Dan Vinny, mm -hmm. uh, kickboxing. You've got kickboxing. And, um, yeah, sure. Sorry, no. So, so they can, they can essentially they can take part in the junior fight series, um, continue training, um, get higher up on the levels, and they could do this all under the undisputed banner. Really, yeah, they've got yeah, opportunities yeah, to yeah. fight <clears throat> on all disciplines that they're training. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely, and and that and that's the thing. That's what we want to do. We want to, we, you know, if we've got a show, you know, from the business perspective of things, you know, you've got a show that's coming up, and you've got twenty people that are fighting on the show. They're going to be they're going to be training all, all night, every night, every day, um, to to obviously get ready for the show. So, in terms of a business point of view, yes, for the gym, it's going to grow the gym. It's going to keep that retention high as well. Um, that being said, th those people that are on the show, hopefully they'll be able to showcase their talents, yeah. and then that then promotes the next show, then yeah. promotes the next person that wants to get on the gym. Especially if you've got someone that's only that's quite new, that's trained for like three, four months, has a, 
a, a level fight that they're matched against, you know, same level sort of thing. Um, and their friends say, oh, well, three months ago he was in a pub doing nothing, and now he's... Yeah. So it, it spurs on the next person to do it. So acts as a catalyst <laughs> for them. So that's, that's the idea. But what, what we're trying to create is people like Dan Vinnie coming on board. You know, I'm going to be teaching at the Kyokushin, and that's not me blowing my own trumpet, but I want people that have talked the talk and walked the walk. Yeah. Um, someone like Dan Vinnie is respected in his field. Yeah, he's a current world champion. Um, you know, so that breeds, um, you know, a, a, a new. Well, the people that are coming in will will, will look at that, be inspired. Um, also, they'll they'll sit and really listen to him because he's been in there. Yeah. He's done it as 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 a vine. Um, so you know, if I if I when I when I start teaching my classes and things, people will listen. They'll respect the fact that I've done what I've done. Um, and you know that's what I want I want a team or what we want we want a team around us where people go okay that's the fight team uh, they know what they're doing um, you want to get fit you go there you want to fight but then also as well we're called 87 fight 87 fitness we want to try and bring in people as well that are just trying to get fit it's not all about the fighting thing yeah. you know if you look at the gym it's actually made up of a lot more people that or it's a high percentage of people that don't want to fight it's actually people that just want to get fit um, and so why can't they get the feeling of feeling like a champion, feeling like a boxer, feeling like a tie boxer walking out of the gym as the, uh, the actual fighters do? Um, and they're the ones that are going to be supporting the show. They're going to be the ones that are paying the money to support the fighters that are actually fighting, representing the gym. Um, so it's actually not just about the fighting side of things with the gym. It's, it, you know, it's the fitness, it's, it's the, all the other aspects as well. My wife's teaching ladies only classes, which is more like a fitness type thing. And again, they want to feel like they can have the same sort of workout that the fighters do, maybe not the sparring and things, and walk out going, yeah, that was cool. You know, it's different to going down you know, the, the, the normal type gyms that where well, I get on a bike and trip and I get bored. Mm -hmm. So we want to offer that as well. So that's why over the years, when I said at the beginning it was called Fight Factory, we, we changed to 87 Fitness, 87 Fight. A lot of people got put off by the word Fight, mm -hmm. Fight Factory, Fight, because uh, they felt that if they weren't coming down to fight, that they weren't wouldn't be welcome, yeah. and that that wasn't the case. That wasn't the case at all. So we had to address the name and and, and that sort of thing and the product that we were trying to sell. Uh, you guys mentioned that you've got uh, Dan Vinny, mm -hmm. uh, new MTK MMA uh, world champion on yeah. board. Uh, how did you hook up with Dan? Um, well, obviously, I, I well, we've seen Dan uh, through social media, uh, through, and although you know, for me, it's not my discipline uh, that I do. Obviously. You, if you fight or you've been a fighter, you keep track of everything that's sort of going on. Um, so we'd heard about him, heard of him. Um, it was actually for a mutual friend that uh, made the made the call and said, "Look, you know, we're looking for uh, an MMA coach, a jiu-jitsu coach. Would you be interested in coming down?" Uh, he he said, "Yeah." He's come down. He's seen it, likes the place, and uh, the rest uh, the rest will be history uh, <laughs> because now he's got to grow his side of things with. With his department, with sure. the jiu-jitsu, and what what we're happy about is the fact that he does, you know, the traditional jiu-jitsu, mm -hmm. gi uh, type thing. Because coming from a tra traditional background like we both do, um, that really interests us. Uh, I'm not saying that if you just have MMA, it doesn't interest us. It certainly interests us if you, if you have MMA. But having the traditional side of things, because we're a traditional martial artists with karate, yeah. it's nice to then have that side of things as well, and, and to offer everything. Is, uh, is is nice. It's nice because you get again. You get people that come down that won't won't want to fight and do MMA. They want to do jiu-jitsu. They want to grade. Yeah. They want to do that kind of thing. So to offer out all aspects um, is, I think, a way forward in terms of business and 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 to keep again the retention high of the gym because you're, you you know you've got a strong traditional background. So anyone, if you look back through through you know past with things like MMA, like UFC and things, it's people that have had strong traditional backgrounds and stuff, and then, you know, sort of amalgamate the two or amount of three disciplines, and they, you know, they, they become very good fighters, or they, even if they don't fight, you know, from what I do, um, there's a lot of people of all ages that do Kyokushin Karate, and they're, they're, they might not necessarily fight, you know, there's, there's a lot of older guys and girls, but their traditional background or the traditional side of things is very strong. So that's why if you get a black belt, say for instance in Kyokushin, especially with the, the organisation I was with, BKK, 
you know that they're all going to be of high standard. There's no one that's not going to be of high standard. So if you get someone that's 55 years old, that's now a second hand in Kyokushin Karai, it's going to, they're going to be of a high standard. Um, and that, for me, here, or us, the fact that you'll have traditional jiu-jitsu, you'll have Kyokushin, the standard will stay high, will become very high, and then obviously you've got the fighting aspect on the side of it. And the fighting aspect is just one part if I look at what I, what, what I do and what we do, the, the fighting thing is just one part of the whole big martial art. So a lot of people get in their mind to think, oh, it's just about fighting. It's, it's not about fighting. You know, it's, the, it's all the other aspects. So it would be nice to provide all of that down here. And also open, open people's eyes to other, other martial arts, other things that are going on. Uh, I saw online that um, you've got, you can, you can, fighters can sign up on there for the shows. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the response been like so far? It's been really good, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, really good. the show aspect obviously it's a, it's a new show. I mean, we're, what we're aiming for is the junior fight series is of all standards. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people are saying, oh, can you cater for beginners or people that haven't fought at all? Uh, of course, we, we want to be able to provide uh, a safe uh, competition for, for everyone. There will be people of a higher standard there, um, but it's also a, a platform for more shows. Uh, it's all about confidence as well. If you knock them on the first one because it's not been matched properly, they might never want to do it again. Mm -hmm. um, so the matching will be on point, and I'm pretty sure you'd agree. We'd rather say to someone we're unable to match you than put them in and someone get hurt. Sure. Um, but then, so that's the junior fight series with the uh, with the more undisputed shows that are coming out. There will be shows that are for strict professionals and higher levels um, but yeah this is first show we've got a high response it's good so yeah. far um, and we're looking forward to uh, 17th of November yeah. you know and just you know other little things as well so what, what we've done um, is some of the juniors that we've got you know we've we've contacted some of their parents said to them look you know we could actually do an individual poster uh, we've got the generic and, and I'm using this as an example we've got the generic undisputed poster, fight, fight series poster. Um, if you give us your, you know, your permission to use your child's image on the poster, we get them, them a fight poster. Cool, they're loving it. A lot, a lot of yeah. people do that. Yeah. And that again, by no means am I slagging anyone off or, or saying we're better than anyone, but if we can try and do stuff that, you know, that I'd love that. You know, you get your own poster, you know, you're a little kid, 10 Come years old, all of a sudden you've got your own fight poster. Yeah. We've done one for, for one of the gyms or the kids and one of the parents is, literally sharing it, sharing it, <laughs> sharing it. Which, again, from a business point of view, is great for us yeah. because other people are now messaging saying, oh, what's that about? Can we jump on board with that? Um, and other people messaging. So just see things like that. If we can just really, really think outside the box uh, and give them what they want. And like Steve said, all the matches are, are really, really, really fair. If, for instance, um, there's a match uh, that, we can't, that we can't make, like Steve said, we just won't do that. Um, and we'll just be honest with the with the people that we can't we can't do it yeah. because we want it all above board and everyone's, and everyone has a good time and everyone's safe. Yeah. Uh, don't want to jump ahead too much because obviously you still got the junior fight series to start off with. Mm -hmm. um, when can we expect the the first professional show under undisputed? Is that next year or well, we're looking at around April time, yeah. April May time. Yeah. I'm looking to book that venue like within the next couple of weeks. Oh, so we've got the eye on the venue, um, <coughs> but we're starting to. Although the, the, the junior fight series is going to start in the next in, in three weeks' time, we're already already starting to make uh, friction for the for the for the adult show um, and get things rolling. By Christmas, we want to have the poster out, want to everything signed, sealed, delivered, and then we start we start getting the names in for the for the April show, um, and that and that's key as well. Um, looking at other people that I've worked with in the past, so I'll use you know you'll have a shout out on here, Colin Payne, for instance, uh, from TKO Elite. He, he, this guy's got it down, so he's, I mean, he's promoting his show's um, uh, Combat Zone next year already. We're, we're only in October, he's promoting the one in February. And that's something we need to take on board. Um, and like I said, look at shows that are really doing well and go, okay, we need to, to think about that. So the way he has his dates all set and done, everyone now is putting their dates in the diary for the Combat Zone, for the Battle of Kents, because they, they know where they stand with that, they looked after it, it's really good shows. Um, and, and you know he's got it down that way and it, that will guarantee you getting that flow uh, that footfall through, through the doors because they know they know at some point and they know the dates that are set we are looking at to do that you know take that take that sort of 
um, ethos with, with our shows and our brand and go, right, these are our dates for the year. Yeah. So now, although we've got the fight series starting, the junior one, next, next month, in three weeks' time, we're now already looking at the dates for next year. So people can get that in their diary and get on board. Um, if anyone wants any more information, uh, what website should they go to to uh, get the information on everything? Uh, it's www.undisputeduk.com. Um, we're also on Instagram and, and Facebook at Undisputed UK, and the links are for the website are on there as well. But also, if they hit the website for the Undisputed stuff, <coughs> um, you'll be able to see the links for the H7 thing, the gym. for the gym, and uh, sort of like a bit of a bio who we are what we do, what we offer, timetables and classes as well. So anyone can come down. Uh, you don't have to be members of the gym, anyone can come down, train uh, and jump on board. And if anyone wants to get in on the shows, you know, you've got that, all that info there, they can just, just book online and go for it. Brilliant. Guys, thanks for your time. Uh, look forward to it. Can't wait to see what comes of the, the first junior show. And uh, good luck with everything. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Nice Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.